Today we're going to give you a tour of the American Girl Place in Los Angeles, The Grove. Come with us. I'm going to focus on the cute. Today we're going to be taking you all with us on a tour of the American Girl Place Los Angeles in the Grove. This was filmed May of the release for the historical 35th birthday dolls. If you want to check that out, we'll put an eye card up above. This is the first floor. You have two floors, one on the bottom, one on the top. This is basically a kind of a mixture of things. You have Truly Me, the new stuff, a hair salon, a book section. And as of June 15th, they still require masks to enter, so you have to have a mask in order to go to the store. As you walk in through the entrance, if you go to your right, you're going to see all the books. This is a really cool section, I and you see some of the movies over there also. You have the historical books over there, and then this is where they used to have a couch. In front is the craft books those are really cool books there's so many things in there there's little accessories in there if they're on sale they are well worth the price here is some cooking books for Mary another little couch that people used to sit on and look at their dolls or read or check out these books I just love this little nook there the little book nook as we call it yeah a lot of great memories because you could sit on the couch and even if you can't sit on the couch it's nice to just take a peek at what they have because they often release new craft books and other books we did like we do did like the older books uh, where it had the look back section it was unabridged hopefully they will go back to those and they have some picture frames of the characters or kids reading the books Mm -hmm. Really love that one of Addie and her mom. So sweet. There was also some meetups here at one time. Here on the back of the cashier, we have some Truly Me doll displays and some other displays. I really like how they kind of put, even if it's a small display, it's still cute. And also it's good to take time during your trip and just kind of take pictures of the display or kind of enjoy looking at them. Here's Joss, another, another couple displays and... Kira with a little swing there. Blair going to Hollywood with a little American Girl bag. I think that's so cute. She bought some uh, boots, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and here is the rest of the Truly Me section. There's two Truly Me sections in the store. There's this one and then there's one on the top which is way bigger. Mm -hmm. They have this huge display case kind of in the middle. They always kind of change, they kind of change it seasonally. Like for Christmas they'll change it or they have another a huge spring release it's really nice right now it has Marielle and Seaside Diner along with the gaming table a bunch of dolls it's really cute I really love looking at this window to see what they have done when they change it up and I really think it's cool looking forward to the displays and sometimes when you're in a rush shopping you just kind of bypass those here's the truly me cases there's two cases and also at the bottom of the Truly Me cases are a pieces of paper that you can take off, either put it as your wish list or request the doll at the cashier. Here on, we also have the doll hair salon where you do have to pay an extra fee to get your doll's hair done. We also have on the other side of the Truly Me, we have Kira's items and we have Courtney's items. They usually put a lot of the new stuff on this wall so you can get to it. Plus it's, there's more upstairs so there's space for everyone. The hair salon is really nice. They do hairstyles or they redo your doll's curls. Of course, you do have to pay extra, but it's a nice little thing to do. And towards the front, if you go all the way to the back is the elevator. And then as you go to the elevator to your right is the personal shopper, which is closed at the timing of this video. Hopefully that will be open again. As, as you're going upstairs, you see these really cool little flower toberries really cute and these big windows mm -hmm. then they have Joss on the right which is the girl of the year 2020 they do keep the girl of the years now instead of just kind of retiring them at the end of the year here's the historical characters and the cafe where you you go through there but we're gonna actually go to the left right now here is Kira's section we did a full closer look at her collection in another video we'll put an icon up above if you haven't checked that out when she released 
Uh, here's the photo op of, usually they have the girl of the year. Right now they have a photo op of Josh. You can hop on that surfboard, you used to be able to. And the store directory tells you what's on the first and second floor. On the second floor has uh, bathrooms. It doesn't have it on the first floor. There's two sets of bathroom on the second floor. Yeah, we wanted to make sure to give you a closer look at the map. Maybe if you're visiting, you don't really know where you're going, it's nice to get a look at the map. Mm -hmm. They have the big Truly Me section, but we're going to continue going straight where they have actually some of the older Girl of the Years. They have Blair. They even have a few Luciana dolls. They don't have any more of her stuff, just the doll. And they also have some souvenir shirts, some uh, a Nuno game. They have they had some of the stuff in the secret sale in May. I'm not sure if they still have it now, but the, sometimes they do have sale items in the store. This is the birthday items that they have, and they have it online also. Here's the Wally Wishers. They have uh, this section here, and then they have the Wally Wishers and the Biddy. They share a room with the Bitty Baby. So here's a section with the Willy Wishers, a cute set up there. It shows you all the items. The Willy Wishers are so adorable. Mm -hmm. I think those are great. I think they're great. They even have boots for girls. And right across is the Bitty Baby and Willy Wisher room. And there's um, the girl the years on the wall there. We'll kind of look at that after the Bitty Baby room. We take a closer look. There's the escalators going up and down. When you walk up, you kind of see the Wally Wishers first. You see their little house. And then you see the Bitty Babies are kind of on the left side of the wall. And then kind of they're kind of spursed around in the middle of the room, too. I really love a lot of these outfits. Now, this is before the Bitty Baby revamp, before their new meat outfits. Plus, they're introducing the Bitty Baby Twins. So, this is... Not the new stuff that was released yet. They have not released that in this store as of today's date. Here are a few of the samples of the items, the accessories. There's a jogging stroller over there and the high and the crib, the old one. Also, we have a little playhouse for kids. That's that was closed at the time of filming of this video. But this is just shows you the potentials that you can, you know, hopefully after the situations that you can enjoy with your grandchildren or children. Here you could choose a bitty baby, kind of look at the different skin tones and face features. I'm not really sure how this is gonna change because now you can get a bitty baby twin, so it's gonna be interesting. Plus they get new meat outfits. Mm -hmm. Here's a little um, dryer and washer and a little ironing place and a chalkboard on the other side, that's cool. Isn't that cute? It's mm -hmm. adorable. They have tons of accessories. There's all your accessories there, bottles, diapers. I even had cool. a little checkout center which was closed. Some of the registers were closed. It depends on I guess how many people they need to serve. And they do have, they did have plexiglass. Here are some little blankets which were at the secret sale. Still need, still had a bunch of those to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Also, we go up to the uh, Wally Wister section. I think this is so cute. I love the way they decorated this with the plants and the vines and uh, the display cases, really cute. Yeah, all the beautiful flowers and colors. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see the sets and how they look next to the dolls too. The, uh, here's the two Wally Wishers in the Jeep set up in a snow scene. There's no snow though, unfortunately. <laughs> then you see the chicken coop. I really like that chicken coop. Also, you can see um, another setup here. And here in this big display, they have all the Wally Wishers and their little house. So cute. It's so much detail. They have little. The Jeep again. They have little <laughs> flowers, grass. They tell you about each stall, like Emerson, Ashland. They have all their names pointing to them. Even the little, their little bunny carrot. Oh, I like the path that goes up. Yeah, and I love all the flowers they chose, and just they set up a lot of different, a, a lot of the different sets. It's really adorable. I love this display. It's so pretty. Here's the other display cases. It shows the different accessory packs and the different uh, bigger items that you can get. Really nice. Yeah, you can. It's sometimes photos don't do it justice, or just seeing mm -hmm. it in the box. So it's nice to talk, take time to look at each display and see what the outfits look like. Or yeah. the doll. Also down there is the other restrooms. 
And also in this section is the flutter wings that you can put your Willy Wisher in there and yeah, carry it on your backpack or your cool child. Little, it's a cool little bag. Mm -hmm. You got some more bitty baby items as the exit. And it's a really nice area to look, even if you're not into Bitty Baby or Welly Wisher, it's nice to just look at the displays or the dolls. Some of the Bitty Baby items do fit American Girl dolls though too. That's true, yes. FYI. And on your left is the Girls of the Year. I call this my reference wall because sometimes <laughs> you can take a look and see what the actual Girls of the Year came with and looked like. Yeah, you even so see their hairstyles. It's important because sometimes a lot of people try to sell like twins, like Truly Me dolls and that kind of look like the girl of the year. And you can just see everything, how they looked originally when they released. Yeah, of course you can see them on the internet, but it's a lot better when you see them in person. Yeah, and you can even take a picture for later for reference too. Mm -hmm. Here is the big Truly Me room. Whoa. This is huge. This room takes a while to look at. Mm -hmm. You do have fitting rooms also for girls, but unfortunately, as of filming in May, that was closed. Mm -hmm. You couldn't try anything on. This is basically has the sets, the pets, the dolls. You can pick the mix and match items. They changed the mix and match items out when they released mix and match sets. Here is the Street Chi collection. I like the way they set this up. The dolls look totally different in person. Yes, they do. Here is the Create Your Own, a little look at the Create Your Own dolls. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. Also, we have Sparkle Totes and the doll carriers. There's various different carriers for uh, the American Girl dolls, the Willy Wishers, and the Bitty Babies. A lot of great options to carry your doll or travel with them. Here we have the pet boutique and the stable behind that. They also, also have pets. Also we did make a video how to make your own. And they have a bunch of stuff on display. It's really nice because you can see what's included in the set or even look at it in person because sometimes... Pets are so cute though. Yeah they are cute. Sometimes you're not sure if you want to get the set or how big it is in person and yes. you're like yikes am I going to be able to fit that in the dollhouse? <laughs> exactly that's important. Or maybe enjoy it from there and then decide if you want to get it or not. Here we have two big display cases just like downstairs. They have all the dolls. You have boys, you have the girls. Really nice. You can look at them in person. Uh, FYI point is also if the doll is out of stock they will have a second sticker on there saying that they're out of stock. The first one is their number. They also have pieces of paper again on the bottom so either maybe you don't want to buy the doll that moment you just put in your wish list or you can take that and take it to the cashier. And the upgrade is $30 for a little upgrade for your girl. Yes, yeah, so for the uh, accessories. And then here you have a little cashier checkout. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. And then on the left side, you have the Create Your Own Center, where you can create an American Girl doll for $200. She can come with a customizable customizable doll t-shirt and these dolls come with different outfits, skin tones, hair types, facial features or you can make a t-shirt for your child and your doll so you're if you don't want to spend money on the doll you could just get a t-shirt for your child or just the doll if you want that and this is the rest of the Truly Me section the other side this Truly Me section is way too big to kind of just go over everything we kind of wanted to show you a few of the details. They have a lot of sets and then a lot of doll boxes. So you can kind of just roam around, look at each outfit. They have the outfits on display, laid out, so you can just see kind of some details. Mm -hmm. They have a different, uh, then uh, they have different sale items in this section at the moment of the filming of this video, which was in May 2021. They had a bunch of yeah sale stuff. Some of it was from online and then some of it was from the secret sale. Mm -hmm. To your left is the cafe. This is a great place, the cafe, when it is opened to make special memories, have a birthday, have a special lunch with your girl or your girls. Uh, and it is great. I thought we, we did this several times, really had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's great even if you can just go once. It's a nice memory and you can, it's just really pretty in there too. Mm -hmm. And also you can pick up a souvenir t-shirt from Los Angeles, American Girl, usually in this section. Yeah, and they also have the little carriers and uh, like different little doll souvenir items. 
Yeah, there's Uno over there. Yeah, you have Uno. You have all sorts of stuff. Even an American Girl backpack that's not necessarily for your dolls. Just a backpack. Really cute. Here we have some mini dolls. This is the end of the historical section. Like right before you enter into the cafe. They have all the little tiny mini. So cute. I love the Felicity with their little mini pin curls. So cute. And then you have a cashier, which was closed. And you also have some really cool items like the you can get a bag for your doll box when you get off the escalator we're starting at the beginning and go straight into the historical collection first up we're going to take a look at courtney 1986. 1986 this is her display i love courtney this used to be actually julie's display now mm -hmm. it's courtney's really like courtney and it's interesting that now she's there instead of julie she, you, Julie used to have an egg chair where you could take photos in. A lot of great memories. I would love sitting in that egg chair. You could also hear music. Now it's like a Pac-Man kind of interactive or photo op. Unfortunately, it was closed since they added it because Courtney was released during the situation. And it was still closed at the timing of May 2021. You also saw the new historical dolls on the table in the center of the room. Birthday collection. And here's Kaya, a 1764 section. Uh, there also is an interactive section in Kaya's little cube there. Unfortunately, you couldn't get to it. We just filmed it. We want it with there's buttons. Yeah, you had sounds and her little dog, so cute. There was sounds of water, kind of different sounds of nature. It was really cool, but right now, you know, you couldn't, you can't go in there. But this is the potential, so you know what's there. And a lot of our stuff set up cute Kaya inspired fashion and here's Kaya the doll and all, go ahead. also all of her collection there each doll has a huge display case so each historical has basically all their outfits or their sets in this big uh, case next up we have Nenea 1941 she's adorable love her Hawaiian theme she's got like lace, she's got her little dog melee, she's got little snow cone. There's a bunch of stuff in these window displays. These window displays are one thing to stop and take a peek at. There's so many details mm -hmm. that is like real life from her story or just stuff that was related to that time period. Mm -hmm. You can also pretend you're Nenea by looking in the mirror and taking a picture of yourself. Yeah, really neat. I love those display windows. It's Sometimes you're kind of rushing around and you don't have time to look at them, but it's nice to take a, a peek at those or just take a picture and save it for later. We have a lot of Nenea's items. We have her market, her little table, which is on sale, and her huge display case. Another great thing about the display case is they have little details. Like for Kaya's, they had like a little bush and a little uh, woven blanket. And then in Nenea's, they have these really cool tropical plants. Next is Melody, 1964. Again, she has a lot of her items that are uh, from a story. There's buttons that are interactive. These are there are several display cases in the middle of these of this aisle, this hallway. And you can see her window. There's different things from her story. Yeah, I really love the the recording in progress. A little. She has a radio up there. I know she has. You just so much for There's the so eyes. There's so many little items. Metrodome, a tambourine. I love the suitcase. The elephant that looks like the one for the doll. That was cute. That was a cute touch. There's a lot. There's so many things in that display case. It's really cool. And then in her display case, she has musical notes. Yeah, I really love that paper. The way it curls down. That's really cool. and melody inspired clothes yeah they do sometimes also in their little areas they have girl outfits sometimes they put them out though in the middle so it really depends like right there you can mm -hmm. see that next up is a julie 1974 i love julie's window she has never had a window that i know of she's just had the egg chair where you know her section was where courtney's section is and it's really cool she has She's got a basketball, a basketball uniform. 
She has the shag rug down there, which was really 70s there. She's got a bee curtain. I love all the details in her window, even her little phone that looks exactly like the one they released for the doll. Cute. Missing the bunny though. Yeah, her bunny, what the heck? Bunnies people? need love too. Her little bunny nutmeg should be in there. But I, some of the win display windows, they just didn't have the pets. They only had like a few windows that have the pets. And for her display, she has these really colorful streamers. I think it would've been cool to put like the beads in there, but you know, the streamers mm -hmm. are really colorful and nice. There's the outfit inspired by Julie. They also had a little pajama set. Next is Mary Ellen, 1954. Her display case is cool. She has a lot of the items. You can also see yourself in black and white and take a picture of yourself in black and white. That is a cool little aspect of her window. She's got the poodle skirt with the saddle shoes and a letter to her grandparents. That was a sweet touch. And the ice skates. I just love the details in these windows. I mean, it, it, it's really nice to just spend some time and look at these things that American Girl has set up. Yeah, and I love that they included her little dog scooter on the floor, little stop polio poster. Also, a lot of these items are part of the stories. The red paint. Yeah, where she painted the door red. <laughs> I love the dog, it looks so realistic. Cute. Even the Jacks. floor, black and white, so cute. And that she had the stop polio because she had polio. There's black and white screen. Here's all the things from Mary Ellen's collection. A bakery case, if you haven't gotten that, that is a great item to get. Seaside Diner, cute! We got the original one. Um, I would, the only, my only uh, comment on that is that I wish American Girl had got the accessories that they added to it and we could have purchased that, the ones who bought the original one. I really like Mary Ellen's collection as a whole. I, there's not an outfit that I don't like. Even their sledding outfit's really cute. I think the 50s is such a cool era to collect from. Mm -hmm. I love all the poofy skirts and all the colors. And I love her Seaside Diner, even the new one. I wish, yeah, I agree with my mom. I wish they had done the upgrades for us. Like they had the sign twirling. The phone actually yeah. is a phone. Like there was no yeah. phone on the first one released. Jukebox, really cute. Oh my gosh, I love the jukebox. And it's a speaker too. And it says, stop polio, get a shot, it's so cute, I love it. She drew that in the book. I really like how the windows kind of reflect the book, the character and the book. Mm -hmm. And the time period. Next up we have Rebecca, 1914. She's got, she's got really cool stuff in her display case. She has like kind of theater. Megaphone. She's got a lot of cool theater items. She's got a little director's chair. She's got records. She's got little scripts. She's got jewelry, gloves. There's so much the detail. The trunk. Love the trunk. I love the style of the trunk. It's so like interesting and vintage looking. Even the makeup looks vintage. Like those tins. I love the the brush. Everything. I love how AG does all these details. It's so nice. Her little costume's pretty. You got some pearls hanging from her director's chair. That hat looks very similar to her accessory hat. Really pretty. Also the phonograph there. It's yeah, cool. the, she had a phonograph too for her. The doll was released, a mini phonograph. It's so nice. But they kind of relate some also. Some of the stuff also was kind of, was already made in doll size and then mm -hmm. they just made it bigger. And the craft board too. And her display case, she has curtains, really nice. Mm -hmm. Love all of her outfits as well. I enjoyed her outfits that are released. I love her new Hanukkah dress, very pretty. There's not a bad outfit in uh, Rebecca's collection. Yeah, I love her that. coat. She's got her little parlor table, her accessories. I love her bed. She's had many beds released. She had three versions. Really the nice. The pink, purple, and now gold. Really love it. And then her little table's really cute. Mm -hmm. I love the woodwork design on the legs of the table. It is really cute. Mm -hmm. And I love the tea set and then her little candle. Oh my gosh, so cute. And her little purple shawl and the hat is so nice. I love that you can also see these out of the glass so you can kind of see what it's like. Mm -hmm. Here is Kit window. Of course, Kit is cute. You can all, there's different various items from her story. The airplane, you have a dress that was made from uh, the chicken feed sack that are anted. You can take your picture as kit, the typewriter, the baseball glove, a radio from her era. 
kit was from 1934, from uh, it, her story. And they added a book that she made from her aunt's tips to save money because this was during the depression, so they did have to pinch pennies. Really like that. That was from her story. And there's the actual chicken feet sack. You can kind of see what it looked like. Her camera, which they also released in doll size. That was really cool. I love the old style camera. There's a chicken. I wish they had had a dog though. But yeah. I mean, they, she, they did have eggs yes. for sale in her book. So I wish they that had her dog, the her dog Grace. But you know, oh well. Here we have all the historicals ever released, all in order. We start from Kaya all the way down to Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Mm -hmm. In historical, in historical order. Yeah, I really, I really like this because you can kind of, maybe you didn't get one of these dolls and you can kind of just see all of them laid out. It's really cool. One curious thing about Kirsten though, she's not in her meat dress. That was very interesting. They put her in her Christmas skirt, even with their Christmas ribbons. They put all the dolls that were released in the Be Forever revamp in their Be Forever outfits, not their classic outfits. Really nice setup. I really like looking at all the dolls just all lined up. We have Molly. She was not put in her Be Forever outfit. She was put in her original outfit. Miss Mary Ellen. You got Melody. I love how they're just lined up by historical accuracy and you can kind of see the different dolls and what they look like. There's Julie and Courtney together. She's like, hey. <laughs> She's the newest historical as of right now. Mm -hmm. And on the other, in that room, you have some of the doll, historical dolls. Plus, you got the historical minis, which were on sale. These are really cute. And if you can't afford a, ver a bigger version, you can always get a smaller version of the American Girls. And in that mini doll, uh, Molly was in her Be Forever outfit. And then you also had some doll carriers, plus some kit dolls. She did, so she did have her doll and her accessories. So even though she's cute, she's still available to purchase if you wish. And you didn't want to pay for shipping and that was the end of the historical room then you enter the cafe so we hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below we'd love to start a conversation with you which room was your favorite have you ever been and if you haven't let us know which room is your favorite i personally love the historical section the historical section is close to a lot of people a lot of collectors hearts because i just love collecting the historical dolls because they have a story not only just getting the doll it's a story I hope this video helps with your visit to California, L.A. Grove. If you're already a resident of California, I hope this helps your visit to the L.A. Grove, to the American Girl Store. Um, also, I wanted to add, parking is free if you spend $250 and get your ticket validated at the concierge's office. And you can ask American Girl where exactly that is and they can direct you to that. Why pay for parking when it's free? Yeah, and they'll even help you take heavier items to your car. Like the American Girl personal shopper or an employee will just call them down for you. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and don't forget, please subscribe to our channel. We have other videos to come. We hope you enjoyed the store tour. Thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute. cute. Bye. Bye-bye everybody.